Hi, Phil Poplinski here with Practical Hack Pedo, and look, I'm here making another video. It's like maybe I think four weeks in a row I might have put a, put a video out, so don't get used to it. <laughs> it may not last. All right, this is um, this is our cross wrist number two. Uh, remind me to do a tongue in cheek video on this some one of these days too. Okay, so it's a cross wrist grab. Uh, one of the things we have to do on this is something called a triangle step. And if you look back a few videos back, I did a, a very detailed video on the importance of a triangle step and why you need to have one. But in short, his feet make the bottom of the pyramid. When I step, my foot makes the peak of the triangle. Okay, And I'm not going to go into the details of why this is so important. Just know that you have to do this. Look at the other the video. So I'm going to counter grab triangle step and I'm going to base this one of our players and I'm going to strike his elbow in all practical intents and purposes I should be done if I do this correctly I should be done all right we're popping this I'm not just swinging my arm like I said remember how you used to hold a ball and pop this with your elbow send it up into the sky that's what we're doing to this arm we're striking it there so I counter grab triangle step base and strike once I've done that strike, I'm going to keep everything right here and close. All I'm going to do is take this hand and wrap it right here and keep my elbows tucked in. Don't have these out. By doing this, his elbow is already right here. So look where that's lining up on my, on my torso, my arm. See where it's at? It's right where it needs to be. Counter grab, triangle step, strike. Here's the basing. Wrap this. Now, when I step, here's what I see a lot of people do. Do not do this. They step, and then they want to bring their upper body with them. We need to do the opposite. Triangle step, base, strike. When I step, I'm leading with this upper part of my body. Watch, I'm driving with my shoulder to this place here. And then once I get here, all I do is rapidly turn, okay? I'm, I'm doing some things here that's really going to be evil and bad to the person. Base, strike. When I do this step, I'm going to C-step and hook this other foot back here. So when I drive with the shoulder, driving, 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 C-step. When I see this plant, this foot is planted, it's flat. He's barely even be able to stay there right now. I've got, you know, great balance, great structure. You know, you wonder why, you know, they did this stuff in karate and stuff like that in Okinawa. You're, you're locking, you're trapping legs. When I C-step this, when I put this in, I'm touching his leg with the back of my leg. My weight should be evenly distributed at this point. And then everything is done with core rotation. So you can even practice on your own. I counter grab, I triangle step, strike, wrap, drive with the shoulder, C step, and continue the turn. What are the takeaways from this? Well, lots. Understanding understanding maybe maybe I'm just looking at just he's got a finger in my face something like that blah 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 understanding this concept right all right understanding what I'm doing with that that's a takeaway from this technique you, you, you have to think beyond yeah we just cross wrist number two but there's other aspects and facets of this thing you should be taking with you and utilizing out of it you know opening your mind thinking outside the box so to speak Kind of a weird term for that, but okay. So that's some of the takeaways: the basing, striking that elbow with a pop, and the C-step action is another thing you should be taking away from this. Because even that, I, he can stand there with his hands on his hip. I can take this, take this. Oh, and then look at this. Here's my C-step. I go on, right up on that one, and I just take a different foot. And look where I'm at. Feet are in to the core. We evenly distributed. Uh, nice sinking. I can't stress enough that you should be sinking. Sink, sink, sink. Uh, okay, I think I covered all the details on that. Did I miss anything? I don't think so, no? One, two, okay, good. Phil Pepelinski, Practical Hap Keto, Train Smart, Train Hard. Try that technique out, okay? Have fun with it, it's a good one. All right, bye.